Not doing well here. I swear at some point actual gameplay will start today. Yes, got it. Okay, we're good. We're starting. Alright, I'm strongly intent on finishing this. Ugh, that might have been really loud. It probably echoed. Oh, my desktop audio is muted. You still probably heard that anyway. Thank you, Hoom. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. I'm definitely a scrub at this right now. <laughs> definitely. Heck, even if I get good luck, this still is not gonna be the best time, but it, it takes doing the run to learn. Though I say I've been practicing a lot, and indeed I have been, it's also true that I have only been practicing one dungeon at a time for the most part. I haven't really gotten back on older dungeons very many times. So I'm still incredibly dependent on notes for my uh, survival here. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a nice tiny woods again. Oh! Nice wander in. Calm down, press the right buttons. Alright, 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 calm down. Crap safe. Back up here. There you go. Holy crap, I made, I made changing the settings an ordeal. <laughs> I knew I'd be, like, nervous. I didn't think I'd feel this nervous. This is, this just feels like more special of a speedrun. <laughs> Also, as I've run the other PMD games, I feel like there's some reasonable expectation for my performance by this point. But, alas. <laughs> oh, I know how to use moves, Jotaro. That was just me choking really badly. <laughs> I'm sure you saw I'm using set moves. <laughs> Oh, I didn't split. I know what to do in this run. <laughs> I'm just nervous. <laughs> it's just something about me. <laughs> PMD2 a lot. I've done the uh, I've done the hundred percent run of that a few times, and this game's interface is pretty similar to that one's. And I was getting pretty good at the menuing in that game, at least when I was at my peak. I kind of after I got my whoops 554 in that game, I kind of let it go. Super Mystery Dungeon is the only one I. We are Team Paul. You know the route for this game? The speedrun route? Do you mean like you know the S and Q route, or do you just mean like you understand what we do? <laughs> you probably just understand what we do. <laughs> Actually memorizing this route is insane. <laughs> I still haven't done it. Well, I tried, but... <laughs> I'm inherently terrible with directions. So I'm going to have to commit the movements to muscle memory, and I'm just not exactly there yet. I just have everything vaguely memorized. Sorry. 
still intent on doing a very long stream tonight. I want to do this, and I want to do Super Mystery Dungeon right after it. <laughs> you don't know the Meowth stuff. <laughs> yeah. Meowth's movement is similar, it's just that there are certain floors where we stop to pick up an item we're holding. And then there are certain floors where he automatically picks up an item on his own. And the item he's holding will affect the floor's layout, so... It was because of that that he became optimal. With the introduction of the Meowth strats, there effectively became two potential floor layouts. You actually memorized every floor layout? Holy crap! Dude, why don't you run this game then? <laughs> you know what you need to know! Uh, okay. I actually did a decent job getting the mailbox. Alright, T-Wave Cave. Okay, I still have my Wonder Milk Coat on. I still need to change these codes. They're like really slow codes, but I'm not gonna stress it. Oh yeah, I gotta actually do this floor first. I totally forgot that Meowth was supposed to pick up an item here. Wait, was that an open? Oh, I think that was an Oran Baron. I kind of want that if it was. Oh, dude, you don't be afraid to upload a, upload a chill run. Alright. This is practically a chill run. Let's see last question. Oh. Ah! Okay. CM question 9. 8470. This game has that weird input delay issue too. Like Super, where it's like you touch a button on this keyboard and there's like a moment before you can touch another one. It's really weird. Why? Oh shoot. Okay. WT question. Question over 4. 7M question 9. Good job, you lost your uh, 470. I have to press A to do those question marks quickly. Question, question for 9. My question uh, Plus 470. One more. I made up these codes, by the way, whom. You'll see why. I'm basically just screwing around because I know this is not going to be an excellent run. <laughs> it's my first, I'm just learning this. I'm, Oh, I know the strats. This is my first time running through all the strats at once. No. There. That's that. Ah! Okay. Two wave cave. I just did this two seconds ago, so I still know it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get that one Oran berry I saw on the first floor. I actually wanted to go back for that. Whatever. Life goes on. Okay. Oh, terrible! Terrible! Oh, jeez, I need to... I guess I need to calm down. I'm putting too much pressure on myself to do well in this run, even though I just entered practically joke codes. <laughs> hey, my, my timer didn't make it sound. What? Weird. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't need to make the sound anyway, it's very unnecessary. I've seen getting into Bloodborne speedrunning lately after realizing on a casual place you said I've memorized every level. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck, Jirachi. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. 
Though it's it's totally inevitable that this run will have a fair number of mistakes. But I'll try. Okay, down, get a 2F Tiny Woods mission and a near mission. Check the mailbox. No! Oh! Ran too far. Why is the mailbox so hard to check? Literally. Ridiculous. Uh, I guess I'll take an apple. I always have extra apples somehow, and one of my codes favors that, so... Ooh, skateboards! I left out there! Oh, I don't think I can afford them all. No, I can't. Still getting one of those is good. Okay, so there's always a... I think there's always a 2F Tiny Woods mission. So now, uh, we've got a bunch of random extra items. <laughs> nice job, nice job, cheese. <laughs> yeah, what else did you expect to? <laughs> <laughs> I intend to run much more seriously after this run is over with. It's just that I'm, I'm already accepted out the gate that this will not be perfect. Of course it won't be. <laughs> but I do intend to take this run much more seriously henceforth. Because I definitely like the premise of this speedrun. Like, it's it's nice shifting focus from adaptability to execution. If you rescue targets at ghosts, they sometimes just stay in walls. Yeah, now that first rescue mission I did, I didn't really have control over my client. careful where my cursor is. Okay. Ah! It's A, A, up A. There we go. At least I remember to teach frustration. That happened to you one of your, during one of your all icons runs, who? Oh my god. That sucks. I would never have thought that would actually happen, like, in the, during a run. Okay. I'll steal... Oh, I need to use frustration. There we go. That's funny, it used Growl at me from a range such that it failed. 
Well, I should just run away from that thing. Oh, whatever. I'm already level 7. <laughs> Alright. Alright, one more Wonder Mail code, and then I'll be done with Wonder Mails for a while. I forgot to pay attention to my items, but I know I bought an apple, so I'll do this one. That's not my question. Four six plus. Plus question seventeen. Yeah, no double ups, no double level up strats. Pro I might have been able to do it if I hadn't fought that one air on randomly, but whatever. I don't need to pick up my own right now, I know, okay. This floor is interesting. menu. <laughs> I must have, you know, I've gone into the quick save menu like at least 200 times now and I'm still like shaky with it mid-run. <laughs> I need to chill. Six. Seven. Oh yeah, this part. Oh, I screwed up something. I screwed that floor up too, I know I did. Oh, and I first supposed to pick up an item. Oh. Now I missed a pick up item. <laughs> and I went the wrong way. This is a travesty. Alright, so. I was supposed to pick up an item there too. I just missed the pick up items on 7F and 8F of Mount Steel. Is that. Were one of those the Petrify Orb? I know one of them wasn't Max Elixir, so I, did, I couldn't have missed anything too vital. Oh yeah, ADEF isn't a big deal. That was just like an Oran. Hopefully that won't be a big deal anyway. I don't remember what was on 7F. I think it was more important. Alright. Oh, and I keep, I keep forgetting to split too. Jeez, I'm doing awful. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I'm still sometimes mashing A and then remembering that I can't mash A. I, I feel you, Jay Rashi, I feel you. Okay. Uh, alright, so because I missed pickup items, I'm probably going to have less items in my inventory than normal, and I'm probably not even going to have all the items I need for the filler missions I was going to do. So I'm probably going to have to check the shop, and if the shop doesn't give me what I need, I might have to start the run over. <laughs> Or it's just going to take forever. Jeez, I knew this run wouldn't be fantastic, but I didn't want it to be this bad. <laughs> PMD won't save the A button, except in Frosty Forest. Though I do still mash A when I know dialogue prompts are coming up too. It's just I don't have that I don't quite have memorized where all those are. PMD one of the minimum A presses. Next weekend, I'm going to have to learn how to play Gates. <laughs> this 
series race. I say when questioning your existence as a Pokemon. It seems the overworld music in TMD1 is actually my favorite. Uh, hold on, let me check my near missions. Oran, Kutra, two apples. Wait, should I have one more? Oh, I'm gonna get one more, okay. I have the Oran, the pet shot, I need an apple. Okay. Glad I checked. Talk to Wigglytuff. So, I had one Oran berry. One of my missions is going to make me give an Oran berry. So I need to hope that the mission I'm going to get on the board isn't going to force me to give an Oran Berry. I think it's usually like find Fetch a Berry or something. So I think by the skin of my teeth I'm going to get by. Otherwise this is going to be slow. I really don't want to start another run over so I think I'm going to force this to finish. So I hope I can finish fast. At least I remember at least I'm remembering like the field movement. Okay. Uh, I thought there was always like a near mission here. The crab? Uh well I can do it this way. I can do three tiny woods and then two Thunderwave Cave. That works. Let's see, which which would I do first? Okay, you do three, then you do two. Okay. I think I only have one escape orb. But I only am going to need one for what I'm about to do. I think I think one of the items. I think one of the items I was supposed to pick up in Mount Steel might have been an escape orb, unless I'm crazy. Not sure. I know I messed up Mount Steel really bad, that's all I know. <laughs> I was kind of afraid that when doing the full run, uh, remembering pickup floors would be a huge issue, and it was. <laughs> Alright, I need to chill. I don't want this whole run to be, be I don't want the whole run to be me complaining about how nervous I am. Legitimately, I think the beginning of this run is actually, like, some of the most complicated. IQ of 5,000. <laughs> and yet, he still almost kills the leader, of, or he still almost kills the hero of this game. IQ of 5,000. Tiny Woods missions. One of them is just like a regular rescue mission. And then we're gonna do two Tough Thunder Wave Caves. Um, I didn't catch the rest of Lake News Run either. I wanted to start streaming today. <laughs> Apparently it didn't go well, because he ended early. I don't know why. from not being able to escape or that, but whatever. I thought there was always, like, a near mission on the board. <laughs> also, I told it not. <laughs> oh my god, he gave me a revive. I have no idea why he ended. 
I put a mudkip in there too. <laughs> I love my past self. Uh, isn't Pitball Valley the one with Vladios? I believe you got through that one, so I think you're good, home. <laughs> so my inventory's full somehow. All those NPCs just gave me so much crap because I accidentally left and gave extra items as part of the code. Oh, you just did those notes today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're fine. <laughs> I was having trouble in the later parts of Sky Tower, though. So there are a couple of floors that I'm gonna I'm gonna do something unoptimal. One thing the notes keep doing is, like, whenever a floor starts and you need to, like, swap places with your partner, the movement for doing that often isn't denoted. Oh, don't trash that. Jeez. That's why you guys trash them all ass, because it highlights trash on its own. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was very inefficient with my items. There we go. Oh jeez, throw it out, please. I don't, I don't need any more rocks. <laughs> At least I have a crap load of revives. <laughs> I must have like five revives now. Only supposed to have like two. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. I guess I guess I'm very well cushioned in case I make a lot of really bad mistakes. Now I know. Change your codes at the very least for that, so the NPCs don't give you 50 extra items. <laughs> oh, man, look who forgot to split like multiple times. I think my problem is I don't usually split after missions when I play PMD2. Oh, yeah, teach the frustrations. No. Okay. Sinister Woods. You died to PP0 traps. supposed to link? No, I wasn't supposed to link most yet. Okay, we're good. No! Jeez! Okay. <laughs> it's like the third time I messed up the quick save menu. <laughs> link after Silent Chasm, okay. I remember this dungeon being pretty easy. Left, cross the left. I'm already level 9? Holy crap. What did I do? Ah, oh, I was supposed to pick up my item there too. Who knows? Shut up, Hodish! Okay, at least I got the Petrify Orb from Pickup. That's like the single most important Pickup item. Oh, 
Up, down, down, go left, quick save. Okay. There we go. See, that's the performance I expect from myself. <laughs> Shoot, messed up though. Stairs. Wait, wait. The note said to turn everything off. So I had this weird muscle memory to turn off Charmander's frustration at one point, but I don't think I want to do that. I didn't even know what the notes meant by turn everything off, but I assumed it meant moves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the way the fight plays out this is perfect, so... Because Gengar uses Curse, and then you can one-shot him. And then Ekans dies after a Frost. I forgot to split for the Sinister Woods, but at least I remember to split for the boss. <laughs> I missed three splits in a row! <laughs> Go me! ignore that part yeah okay I, I assume that some parts of the notes are actually remnants of Lycanutes because I assume you built off of his and edited those I'm gonna have to change my splits so that there's fewer of them um, maybe my problem is I practice so much without using splits that I'm just just, just carrying on like, I can't get used to what I have here. It's just a tiny time. Okay. So back when I was first starting to learn S and Q, Silent Chasm was a dungeon where I got very frustrated because I kept mixing up 4F and 6F. And then there was something else that was bothering me too. Oh yeah, ni the ninth floor in Silent Chasm is fairly inconsistent. Because you tend to level up there, I think. But now that I've done so many other much harder dungeons, <laughs> I don't fear this dungeon anymore near as much now. Anywhere near as much. Oh shoot. Does BF mean you're going down? Yeah. It actually makes a difference for pitfall traps in post game. If you're going down, a pitfall trap sends you, sends you forward, and if you're going up, a pitfall trap sends you back a floor. So it actually has a gameplay implication. But it isn't relevant for this run. I don't even think we're going to see any traps in this run. Unless you count Wonder Tiles as a trap. <laughs> it took me a while to notice that too. Thank you for the follow, Titan! Okay. Nice! Okay, see you later, home. Thanks for stopping by. Up left. Oh, shoot. Okay. I did it again. At least I made this mistake so many times that I remember what happens. <laughs> 
The movement I just did, it was like, it was similar to the movement I would have wanted to do on the sixth floor. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot where to go. Hold on. Go down. Shoot. Oh, this is like a weird floor. This is a bad floor to mess up. Yeah, this floor has a lot of movement. Okay. Left. I... Ah, whatever. Yeah, I did the right thing there. I think you have to pick that blast seat up. Now you pass it, now you go down. Oh, I messed something up. Oh, I was, supposed to, I was supposed to wait before I moved in there. Left, 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 wait. Let's go. Okay. I think if I hadn't run into this Veneric, it would have, um... Oh god, string shot me like that. Now I need to be really careful. Okay. Okay! I made it! That was terrible, but I made it! Okay. Now I need to remember to link my moves. Hey there, Latios! Thanks for the pog champ! If your teammate falls into a pitfall trap, they are kicked out of the dungeon. If it's an escort mission, an escort falls. It counts as a failure. I think so, it does, yeah. Basically, pitfall traps, they can either be no big deal at all, or they can be the worst thing on Earth. <laughs> I'm already about a quarter of the way through the run, though. Like, wow. <laughs> this is so much shorter of a run. <laughs> That's really nice. Grunt's traps are the worst thing on Earth. <laughs> true. Those are incredibly rare, but true. Sticky traps are also very spiteful, and uh, PP0 traps are also very spiteful. I think we can rationally agree that traps in general are pretty bullcrap. that I would actively throw away so many max elixirs. But you don't need them. Oh, don't I want a warp warp for some reason? I feel like I want the warp warp for some reason. Honey Woods missions? Guess I could have kept that one cherry right ahead. Oh, blink your boots! Dude, I almost forgot. Please tell me I have enough money. Oh god, I don't have enough money. I gotta sell a thing. Nice job. Thank goodness the cherry berry's worth so much money. I, actually, I could have sold the Petra Scarf, whatever. Stairs pick up. Scroll down. Wow, warp traps that teleport you to the stairs has never happened. Oh. 
that dead end was a troll. <laughs> Okay, next floor is a pickup floor. And it's the only pickup floor of the dungeon. Okay. notes right now, I'd be like, dude. <laughs> I tried to develop muscle memory for each floor, but in some cases it just isn't there anymore. After learning Magma Cavern, <laughs> my memory for the entire rest of the game just, like, took a crap. Uh, I was supposed to wait somewhere, right? Oh shoot. Okay, I literally forgot where the stairs were there. Okay, there's no split there. I am gonna quick save here. Oops. Okay. Taking any risks. Stairs are typically, yeah, the stairs are always right here if you do this. Oh shoot, I accidentally waited. Dang it! Wasn't supposed to fight that! Uh oh. Okay. What about when you get roared into a one by one tile attached to the corner of a room and have to quit out? Has that ever actually happened to you, Shan? I would cry. <laughs> I think that's the entire reason that the developers put the give up option in the others menu, in case some poor soul has that happen to them. ahead my notes still. Okay. Oh, that actually happened to you? Holy crap, dude. That's so... That feels, that feels bad, man. That sucks. That's like almost impossible. It's like, first of all, the the trap itself has to be in the perfect spot, and then the room layout has to have like just the right layout such that it's physically possible, and then and then there's a one in eight chance you'll actually get launched in that direction after all of that lines up. That's weird that the whirlwind trap actually can push you through corners. I didn't even know about that until I watched like one of Nostali's uh, route videos, and I was like, what the heck? Because I think there's some point where he actually takes advantage of that to escape from enemies in the all icons route. That's weird. I pity your soul, Shan. I pity your soul. Okay. So next up we have Gw I almost called it Gwait Canyon. <laughs> Great Canyon, that's one of the more interesting dungeons. It'll really be interesting if I make any mistakes in this dungeon. Yeah, 
Okay. The only time you can skip corners normally is if it's some other terrain, or if you're a ghost. <laughs> maybe a pounce orb would get you out of it too, maybe. I don't really know. Oh shoot, stair floor, nice! I actually had really good luck in that regard. Okay. I'm gonna let down that stairs. Okay. All right. Oh shoot! Oh, I cracked. Oh, I lost the revive. It's okay. I have like 50. <laughs> You know, it was unintentional, but apparently appropriate, that I accidentally gave myself many extra Reviver Seeds for this first run. I'm glad I did that. Cross from around the room. I definitely practiced this dungeon more than others. I feel like I remember a little bit better what to do. I say as I definitely mess up. <laughs> I definitely messed up. <laughs> Okay, where are the stairs? This turned into a single segment run! <laughs> Not really. Oh jeez, that's a thing that can happen? Oh boy, I think I'm about to die again. Yeah. Well... You can get put to sleep in the middle of your linked moves. Where are the stairs? I totally forgot! Oh, balls. <laughs> oh jeez. That suck. <laughs> right, go right this. I definitely messed something up in there. Okay. The way it has to see it was incorrect. Right, right, go right off. Oh yeah, this is where you use the loop to loop. I messed up again. the only time you get to do that in the entire run. Okay, I remember what to do near this TN. I think. I hope I got that right. No, I did not get that right. Never mind. <laughs> That's what the Dutch Pie Orb was for. Screw all those enemies! Upright, go right. Not that way! Oh boy. I'm gonna be like level 16 and do this run. Goodness. of uh, Great Canyon errors. <laughs> Two seeds were lost. The only time you can skip corners normally is if not Oh, I already read that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is pretty important. Don't mess this dialogue up. I need to say attack him or else I'm going to lose like 20 seconds as Charmander contemplates tickling him and then actually proceeds to tickle him. Such a funny dialogue choice. <laughs> Attack or tickle. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry about the mouse clicking, by the way. Alright.
I feel I've been rather complainy, but I hope everybody is enjoying the stream regardless. <laughs> and enjoying laughing at my mistakes. <laughs> I think I just drove the wrong answer there. I did. or whatever that he asks. <laughs> Part is incredible. Nice catch! I get a nice break here. <laughs> This is the most cutscene heavy part of the entire run. I get a nice break, and then after this, I have to do like four dungeons back to back. Relatively minimal cutscenes. One thing I definitely like about this run is the cutscenes are all pretty short, for the most part, except for what we have right here. One thing that's gotten to me in the past running PMD, both Sky and Super, is just the super long cutscenes. There's no way to skip any of them in uh, PMD, because the cutscenes are such a good part. They're such an important part. I think Hecleon was selling sleep seeds. Maybe I'll take them. Shoot out that one. Alright. I accidentally took a deliver mission. I'm glad I remember. Okay. I just lost my train of thought completely. <laughs> Trying to remember what to do regarding missions just strained me. <laughs> the most confusing part of this run is the missions. Yeah, playing these games casually, by far and wide, my favorite part in every game is the story. It wasn't until I started speedrunning these games that I really embraced the gameplay as well. And now I've gotten to a point where it's like... I'm really tired of the cutscenes. Although I don't mind it as much here, because here it just feels more like a press break, since so far everything prior to this has been pretty short. And then when I am in the dungeons in this run, I'm going like freaking lightning bolt fast. Except for that one great canyon floor where I forgot where the stairs were. I wasn't very, I wasn't going very fast on that floor. Okay. to appreciate the 99 floor dungeons in recent years, especially the level 1 dungeons. <laughs> because of how challenging they are, I assume, they can be a pretty fun casual challenge. 
God bless whom is this his soul for doing one of those in a, or a couple of those in a speed run, though. Right? I think you have to do... Is it Witch Cave? Is there... I actually don't remember if, Jira, if Jirachi's an icon. I've yet to watch a full All Icons run. To do it with oh shoot, how long was I sitting there? <laughs> Probably about five seconds. Jeez, I could barely get through Purity Forest with a Crobat who was really good at it, so I can't imagine getting through it with like something weird. Yeah, the, the level one dungeons. They're like a really underrated part of the games. They're an interesting deep challenge. You think I might need to save Metacham? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, are you talking about like how to unlock Wish Cave? Yeah, that's how you unlock Wish Cave. I just I just don't know if you need to complete it for all icons. I can't remember if there's a Jirachi icon or not, and I know that's where you get Jirachi. Speedrun is still proving to be rather overwhelming to me. <laughs> There's so much going through my head, and I was supposed to tell you, let's go. Okay. Here goes. The feelsiest part of the game. run I know loosely what items I can throw away. You only you only need like a select few items in SMQ J Rachi, so at the very least I know like okay I'm not gonna need this, I'm not gonna need that, throw that away. I do the same thing when I play ca well, casually and in, sometimes in speedrun I do the same thing J Rachi. <laughs> like a true European <laughs> European play style. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Okay, finally back to dungeons. We have quite a few in a row to do now. Dang man, I'm getting I'm getting beginner's luck. I've gotten so many stairs floors. <laughs> If this were like, if this were a more serious, more like seasoned runner, they would be so happy with the stairs like that I've just gotten right now. Oh yeah, stairs. Okay. So don't mess up number floor number four. <laughs> Upright. Wait a little bit, right there. If you go too fast there, you'll run into a needle ran that throws rocks at you. And it's not going to be a fun time. No sirree. Cross 
go right up carefully. I think I messed up. I messed up slightly. Okay. Not a big deal. Downstairs, stairs, stairs. Oh yeah. This was like the easiest dungeon to learn. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of stair floors. <laughs> I think like new found a new strat for that one. There's easy. <laughs> Easiest dungeon to learn right there, by far. You definitely hoard casually, Jotaro. Yeah, I understand the logic of it. I do it too, for sure. <laughs> you went into Sky Tower with six max elixirs in a single segment and ended up only using one. You're actually lucky you only used one, dude. Sky Tower is huge. You can never have too many max elixirs for Sky Tower, IMO. Actually, actually maybe six is too many. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I have yet to do this game single segment. I decided to focus entirely on learning the S and Q route. Oh my goodness, I love not lace. Now that I'm getting closer to the end of the game, maybe some of these floors will be a little bit more familiar to me now. Alright. Yeah. It's starting to come back to me. I'm starting to actually remember the floors where I totally forgot some of the ones in, like, Mount Thunder. bad either. Down go right. Dark right. Okay. This is one of the most dangerous floors in the game. I got lucky, I got stairs pretty quickly. Not much stair floor luck in this run, but I've been very fortunate with what I have gotten. No doubt about it. <laughs> okay. Full trace. Wait, spam rust. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, my nervousness is starting to turn into joy. I remember watching Worcester do this run a long time ago. 
Maybe not that long ago. And I was just like so amazed. And here we are. Trace was my favorite of the legendary birds. <laughs> I know it's like, it's quite arguably the least popular, at least until Pokemon Go happened. <laughs> but for whatever reason, I loved, I loved the chicken that was on fire. I think now my favorite is Articuno. Partly because of how aware I am of how overpowered it is in this game. Partly by design. The bird with a massive beard. <laughs> to the ice mountain. Alright. Man, after spending like an hour or two at a time learning each individual dungeon, it feels so surreal to have made it all the way here from the start in about an hour. And after having gotten used to playing or running PMG games that take six hours to complete from start to finish, it feels so surreal to be halfway through the game after one hour. <laughs> this is so incredible. I think I will come to love this speedrun a lot. Okay, Frosty Forest. Oh shoot. Whom is this hates those? I see why. <laughs> Lucky that one didn't quick attack me too. Oh geez, the map is so hard to see in this place. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I gotta think about how I wanted to move around that one. Oh! You really wanted to do a 90% run of Sky, but the length is one of the things delaying it. Yeah, I understand, dude. Okay. Not sure how well I remember this horse. Let's see how I go right. This is one of the dungeons I practiced the most, too. I don't know if I'm supposed to end up fighting that Mammoth Swan. I don't think I was. I was supposed to do DRR. I did DRDR. -DR. That's what happened. Um, oh yeah, I remember that apple. Okay. The one part where you mash A. <laughs> Believed to be the only instance of mid-dungeon dialogue. Which is probably why we have the mache. 
Oh shoot, I think I went the wrong way. Left, go left. I certainly did. Oh, I've made that mistake many times. I remember what happens. I think it's really bad too. It is. Okay, I, I didn't walk. If I had walked into that nose pass, it would have killed me. Glad I uh, had some vague memory of worst case scenario there. Oh, far left. oh shoot. I messed up. Mission impossible. Count how many times I've said I messed up. Hell, I'll go up. Alright! Alright, thank you, uh, Shan slash Jotaro. See you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, shoot. I'm not supposed to already be level 13. <laughs> Save. Uh, all right. Well, actually, it's not the end of the. I'm in. I'm in the peak, so I only have a few floors to do. So I should be okay. Thank God I did that at the peak, not the whole dungeon. That could have been terrible. Hey there, restless bagel. Thank you for the host. I noticed you're hosting me. That might just be auto host. Okay, so I don't know what to do here because I I quick saved at the wrong spot. This just temporarily became a uh, single segment. <laughs> okay. Thank god there aren't that many floors. Is this stairs? It's not stairs. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Okay. How many revives do I have left? I need to check. Two, okay. If I hadn't accidentally given myself a crap load of extra revives, this run would have died. <laughs> well, thank you for the auto host. <laughs> okay. Oh shoot, the Articudo strats might get screwed up too. Oh. If this guy goes powder, if this guy goes powder snow, the run is over. Okay, okay, pretty sure we're good. If he would have done a turn one powder snow, I would have been screwed. Oh, he did the two, he did turn two powder snow. All right, I have no revives left, so I gotta be really careful now. I got extra reviver seeds and I still am at risk of failing the run. <laughs> I clearly didn't practice enough. <laughs> oh well. I would. I'm actually just gonna switch to Super Mystery Dungeon if I fail this run, though I really hope that doesn't have to happen. Because I want to do a Super Mystery Dungeon and run before the weekend is over. And tonight's gonna be like my only chance to do that. I won't have time tomorrow morning. But I might do another run of this, or another attempt or two tomorrow morning. I hope I finish tonight, though. <laughs> and thank goodness, in Mount Freeze, I am going to pick up one more Reviver Seed. Actually, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I'm just going to have to be very cautious. I need, to, I need to retain my saying of slow and steady wins the race. Not too slow, of course. It is a speedrun, but... Currently, it is a speedrun where the primary goal is simply to finish. <laughs> okay. Gonna have a few water mail codes to do and not freeze. I only have three here. I think, unfortunately, down the line, I'm gonna be SOL on missions. I don't have very many.
Dot, 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 or dot, dot, dot. Very important choice. It's kind of a shame that every single dialogue prompt in this game is virtually pointless, aside from the amount of text that scrolls, which is important for the sake of the speedrun. Okay. Mount Freeze. Once again, excellent stairs luck, I must admit. Once again. Alright, we got three wonder mail codes to do real quick. These ones are straight off of Whom's notes, so they're simpler, so I shouldn't struggle too much to do them. Question mark IP. IP. of Wonder Mail codes for the run? Alright. There we go, we get no Ranberry. Oh, shoot, I messed up. It comes much later. Um, yeah, well, oh, that's what happens if you mess up that floor. It's great. <laughs> you could scream that by a louder. Not Loudred, but Slackoth? Whatever that thing was called. I'm forgetting my Pokemon names. There's a lot of button mashing on this floor, jeez. Oh, oh shoot! Okay, I just didn't fight anything. Stairs, stairs, I'm both careful. on this floor now. I remembered a little late. I remembered way too late. Okay. Quick save pickup. Okay. Oh no! Oh, these things are very problematic. Okay. Those Glalie can powder snow, they can icy wind, they're really dangerous. 
Oh yeah, Charmander's slow, I forgot. <laughs> forgot to wait for poor Charmander. Okay. Okay, pick up your item after this quick save. Definitely pick up your item after this quick save. Whew. Down right, down right, down right. Oh shoot, I accidentally waited. <laughs> Did you go down? Walk past the I think I passed the stairs. I passed the stairs. Oh boy! Yeah, they were up here. Okay, I got super lucky. I didn't run into anything extra there. Alright, we made it past the fugitive segment. And. Oh, I just remembered that Reviver Seed I was talking about. Shoot, that was a Frosty Grotto. And I missed it because that was where I messed up my quick save. <laughs> so I still have no Reviver Seeds. Dang. I'm, going to be very... I'm either going to, have to be very careful or I'm going to have to accept terrible time loss. There is, I believe, a zero street up. Uh, Zero seed strat for every boss, except Groudon. Groudon is a problem. I can, like, even if I keep dying, I can still finish this run, except with regards to Groudon. I don't know what I'm going to do about that fight. So the Groudon fight's going to be a something. I hope I don't die to it too much, if at all. I hope I don't die to it at all. <laughs> As I'm still a scrub with this game, I will accept a death or two in the run, but if Groudon is like a wall, uh, that's gonna be an issue. Okay. <laughs> it's not the human crowd goes wild. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that's right, you do, you can do like a bunch of Wonder Mail Cold Death or Uproar, that's right, so not too screwed on missions. I lied accidentally, I have, I have a few more Wonder Mail codes to do, that I'll be doing in Uproar. Okay. All I need from the board is two total Tiny Woods missions. I believe I already got one. I can just Wonder Mail in the rest. As much as I have put myself down, I may actually do fairly well. Already, we only have like three dungeons to go, right? I believe. Uproar? Yeah, I have only three dungeons to go. Man, I put myself down much more than necessary. This run is quite nearly over. Just the biggest hurdle is gonna be Groudon. And also, I should have Magma Cavern and Sky Tower at least fairly memorized, as those are the two dungeons I just most recently pounded into my head. Uproar Forest is also. I don't have it too super memorized, but it's easy. Oh shoot, I better scroll up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have to check how many missions I have before I do those wonder mails. So hopefully I remember to do that. I'll have to check what items I have. Although items aren't as big of a deal with these missions. <laughs> oh. We do something really funny with these missions. <laughs> the missions I'm gonna do after uh, uproar. Shoot, I'm supposed to have two Blast Seeds. I hope I have them. I think I do. I think at some point I bought a Blast Seed because I was paranoid. 
And I know I picked at least one up, so I should be good there. Oh, geez, I have so many Thunderwave Cave missions. What on earth? Okay, two blast seeds and an all ran. We are covered there. Guess I didn't need any of those. So I just want one more tiny woods mission. Yo, 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 yo! What's up, Eric? Kurt? Did I even say your name right? Close enough. Alright, I'll take close enough. Alright, we don't normally do this in this run. I'm checking for Reviver Seeds though. I haven't even got enough money, that was... That was pointless. Okay. Do I have an escape? I did two escape ports, okay. I just need one tiny woods mission. It's not here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do one more Wonder Mail code in, the, in a few moments. Okay, so we're doing those. Check out this hard day at work. Died. Oh, and I forgot to split for nine tails. Troll orb. That troll orb is going to be important later. In fact, it's going to be important for the next dungeon. I don't remember what these petrify orbs are for. <laughs> I know one place I can use them on, I don't even remember the others. I actually really love this music. Shoot. <laughs> I believe there was an uproar forest mission on the board. I should have done it. I should have grabbed it, but it'll still be there. It was just a slight time waste that I did not get it immediately. Okay, yeah, I did. Oh, actually, it only shows up now anyway, so I'm good. Maybe I'll find another, or maybe I'll find a tiny woods mission on the map, <laughs> John Board. That would be good. Save me one more code. You don't have to take that job right now, okay, it's... 
That job is special. I should still have Uproar Forest memorized by heart. I got my notes here just in case. I stare for her. Just in case. I sh shouldn't have picked it up like that. Okay. So, five more Wonder Mail codes for me. Question 9F, question 7F, question, 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 question. This might fill my mission long, it's because I have a few that are like useless. Oh shoot. Also, I need to play the game. Okay. Oh. What? Oh shoot, I'm looking at the wrong notes. Hold on. I was looking at Magma Cavern's notes and I was like, wait a minute. So much for saying I should have had this memorized anyway. <laughs> I bet if I had checked my notes, I actually would have been fine on that floor. I just doubted myself and tried looking at the notes anyway. Whoops. Oh, double whoops. Pick up an item. Okay, up left, low floor. Alright. Well, I definitely need to pick up my item now. Crap, I picked up a reviver at some point? What? Oh, I think that's actually supposed to happen. I just outright forgot. Well, pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay, we now have our two chestnuts. Yes, there were three chestnuts on that floor. <laughs> we only need two, though. It's funny how when you're doing like the single segment version of this run, getting two chestnuts on that floor is like the best miracle you can hope for. And then in this run we get freaking three of them. <laughs> we don't even take one. 
Okay. So I'm gonna give them the chestnuts, and I'm gonna do a bunch of those missions I wonder mailed it, and then we get on to good old fun Magma Cavern and Sky Tower. Chestnuts. Why does that dialogue choice exist? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if you actually can say no to that one, since the chestnuts are a consumable item, but your, your partner's probably like, dude, why, why not? <laughs> story, but I still think it's really sick when I mean, you not only have your own base, but you actually kind of upgrade it. chestnut from Meowth's hands when I left before leaving the last floor of the dungeon, because I think if I'd left it in Meowth's hands, I actually wouldn't have been able to give it to the main key without having to do a little bit of extra menuing. I think that ch the chestnuts have to be in your toolbox. Completion of our rescue team base, we become completely narcissistic! And we have a totally nightmare fuel house. Steal first. <laughs> so you might have noticed, most of those missions said warp orb wanted. But I don't re well, I have one by accident, I have one. Thing is, I give this mobile sword max elixir and then he gives me a warp orb. And then I give that warp orb to this mobile sword and he gives me another warp orb. And I give that warp orb to this mobile sword and he gives me another warp orb. And then finally I give my warp orb to this guy and he gives me a revive. So now we have two revives. Okay, I feel so much safer now that I have two revives. We can do this, guys! I can finish this run! As long as I don't lose any revives in the middle of Magma Cavern. I can finish this run. And even if I lose one, I can still get by as long as Groudon isn't a total jerk. I 
I just hope that whatever mission I wonder now in for Tiny Woods, I have the item necessary. I'm almost certain I will. Things could take a turn for crappy after that, though. I just I just need to do two more missions, though. I know that much. So, even if I messed up, I can recover. about it this is like this is really like the only time you see a lot of other rescue teams at once in one of the PMD games isn't it there are other teams in sky you can see some of them like hanging out in town although a lot of them are really very good but in this game it's like you summon a bunch of freaking awesome hosts in the center of town Gollum, why are you joining the team for a ground type dungeon? What are you doing? Blastoise joins the team because he's like, Alright, I'll annihilate ground types. Octillery sword the same, and then Gollum just steps in like, Eh, I guess I'm just tough, screw it. I do not. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. Do I still have those sleep seats? I do. Do I still have an escape orb? I don't think. Can I get an escape orb? Or can I get an Oran berry? I don't think the shopping is. Holy freaking huge apples! Alright, that's a no. Oh dang. Alright, so I'm gonna lose mad time here. Um. What I can hope for is that Tiny Woods gives me an Allran Berry, and then I'll get through this mission. Otherwise, dang, I'm gonna lose a lot of time right here. So I never, I never split through the four, four missions. Oh, I should probably just regular attack these things. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. No Allrans there. What I saw. Alright, I'm actually gonna hunt on this floor. We're hunting for an Oran berry. If it gets real bad, I suppose I could one rail in another mission, or I could do Thunder Wave. That actually wouldn't take too long. Probably would have been a good idea from the get go, huh? <laughs> please give me an Oran, please. Please. That's not an Oran, that's a Petra! Uh, oh, thank you! Okay, rescue the Skinneric, even though it's running away from me like I'm a freaking enemy. Woo! Last second Oran, Pog Champ. <laughs> I think, and it gives you a revive. Alright, we're up to three revives. I am well cushioned once again. Alright, Magma Caverns coming up next. Hey there, Miss Naldi! 
I'm pretty sure I can complete the run, so I'd say things are going all right. <laughs> I've made a crap load and a half of execution mistakes, but eh, we'll get better in due time. Three reviver seeds. I accidentally gave myself a ton of reviver seeds early in the run by using missions that gave me extra items. But thank God I did that because it actually saved the run. <laughs> and now I've got three more reviver seeds. Most of them from pretty natural causes. Now I'm about to go to the dungeon I practiced a lot last night. <laughs> For all the cheering pouts, people, can we go now? <laughs> Alright, we're all set, Charmander. We have like three revives, we're all set, trust me. Actually, for all I know, one or two of those revives could have gone to storage. I wasn't paying that much attention, but I don't think my inventory was that full. Especially considering the missions I was doing involved giving away an item to receive another one, so... Yeah, it looks like I'm not even gonna have sub-2 Magma Camera, which is pretty bad. <laughs> But it's alright. I can be chill about my mistakes for now. Alright. I'm legitimately gonna be pretty upset with myself if I don't remember how to do this dungeon now. Alright, I'll stop. I need to concentrate. Indeed, I have all three rides. Okay. Oh, this way, the cavern sucks. I call that an anti-stair floor. <laughs> to be fair, I guess I deserved it since earlier in the run I had many stair floors. Okay. Next floor, it's imperative that I remember to quick save again. Imperative. I hope leveling up here doesn't mess everything up. Okay, cool. It was actually part of my muscle memory to stop there and do that. Uh oh, I'm dropping frames. Uh oh. My internet okay? Uh oh.
Okay, sorry about the frame drops. Oh shoot, okay, I, that, that distracted me. I have no idea why I just dropped so many frames. Okay. Down. Oh yeah, it's this room. I can't remember where to go from here. Down, 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 down. Okay. Thrust up left, thrust go up left. Oh shoot. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Oh! I did something wrong though. You weren't supposed to be there. That was probably too inefficient. Okay, I always messed up this room, so I won't this time. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see. Don't kill that mobile. You will die if you kill it. Because then the magmar shows up a lot earlier and fire punches you in the face. Eleven. Okay. Team down or down. I didn't lose too much time. Okay. 19... Oh, oh shoot. You know what, this is a petrified orb before. There we go. Oh, no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Ah! Okay. I was supposed to pick up an item. That blast seed I was holding. Okay, at least this room was normal. Once I removed my item. That was bad. 22, do I go up or down? Go down, okay. Ugh! Okay, you are a three hit KO, so Charmander do it. Then I go up. And I'm done with the memorization parts, okay. Oh! Magma Cavern Pit, this is essentially the only floor I have to do, so there's no quick saving. I got off pretty easy on it, no less. I actually think I meant to split here instead, so... Okay. This fight is random, but should only take about two seeds, and I still have two seeds, so we are good. The only obstacle standing in our way beyond this will be Sky Tower. I may have to do it seedless, but that is doable. I'll have to do it seedless if this fight goes to crap. Thanks, Vistaldi. I appreciate the optimism. You want to go, you want to walk left initially. I got it.
Well, we chose one seed. Thank God he doesn't have, like, magnitude or something. Oh, nice! He missed! Alright! We have one seed for Sky Tower! I'll take that! One dungeon to go! Not too bad of a time, to be honest. I wasn't sure what, what time I expected to get. But I didn't underperform too badly. this for the PMD series race, I would be very content with that. So maybe I should keep all those Wonder Mail codes that gave me a zillion extra reviver seats. <laughs> I don't know. I do intend to practice this run a bit more, so that I won't need those. Having made mistakes that were punished in a real run, I think I will be... I think I'll perform better in my next attempt. With regards to, like, not making execution errors that cost me seeds. <laughs> I learn I learned well and fast from my mistakes, typically. So nearly every seed I lost during this run. I believe I will be sure not to recreate that mistake in my next run. Even though I did lose so many seeds, it was <laughs> admittedly difficult to keep track. <laughs> Fortunately, as you do the run naturally, you do pick up quite a few Reviver Seeds at little to no time loss. So even as you become more seasoned, there's still... You know, if you become more seasoned and don't take extra Reviver Seeds, <laughs> there's still enough to give you a hand in case you make a bad mistake, but can still make the run a good run. Shoot, talk to Charmander! <laughs> okay. Nearly forgot. I may have practiced the dungeon movements an awful lot, but I have not so much practiced <laughs> the field movements in some areas. I nearly forgot I needed to talk to Charmander there. <laughs> Dream Eater. I love it when they, like, take a Pokemon move, and apply it to a cutscene like this. There are times in PMD2 where Grovile uses Dig, there's Gengar using Dream Eater here. It's like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is more or less the Mystery Dungeon series with a Pokemon skin, but I love it when they really, 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 like, I don't know how to say it. They really embrace the, the abilities of the Pokémon in cutscenes from time to time, and I love it when they do that. We're already past world record. <laughs> I could have rationally expected to do that well in my first run of this. I think it's noteworthy. Now that now that I think about it, this is really the first execution-based run I've done. Like prior to this, I had only speedrun Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Explorers of Sky. Both of those are more adaptability-based. It helps to know a lot about those games. But you don't have the memorized floors and go through them as fast as possible, you just generally move as fast as you can without getting killed. This is a lot more of a genuine speedrun, and this was my first time doing one.
Alright, Sky Tower is nice and long and has a lot of room for air, but we have a seed. Hopefully I don't lose that seed on the first floor. Let's hope I get good stair floors. <laughs> so even if I lose the seed, even if I die at some point, Verquaze can be beaten seedless, so I can finish this. Thank you for the follow, Shadowstorm! Dangerous. If they spite you and make you lose the PP for frustration, you are screwed. I just got I just got a link box now, so now I have insurance in case such a thing happens. Okay. Pong champ, yeah. No, I'm not gonna turn this into an all icons run, I'm sorry, Miss Daldi. I wanna run Super Mystery Dungeon after this. I need to do at least one run of that every weekend. I wanna maintain my skill at that game. Um... Okay, that wasn't what I was supposed to do, but whatever. I panicked. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um... Ah. Uh, oh yeah, this room. I may have screwed up. No, we're good. Okay, I did the right thing. All diagonal floor. Okay. Left. I always feel like I did something wrong there, but indeed that is what is supposed to happen. Down right stairs. Down right, go down. Okay. Still riding on personal notes for survival here. DL on the left. Okay. Oh yeah, this floor. There are many ways you can do that floor. This floor is weird. You have to like, wait for a very specific number of turns on this floor. I could never get it, so I'm just gonna do what I... I'm gonna take my consistent solution and just do this. <laughs> I'm level 15. Alright, I'm a higher level than I should be. Floor on purpose. <laughs> oh shoot. Am I supposed to do that? Probably not. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, okay. Somehow this dust clouds woke up though, so I did mess up. Oh, I read, I read floor 22's description. That's why I got messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay, pick up your item after this one. Da -da -da. 
Oh yeah, it's this floor. Um, I'm just gonna eat that. Screw it. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-five left. Go down. Okay. The peak. Pray for me on this floor. <laughs> Things can go very sour on this floor. Okay. We got past the last random floor. Okay, I was nervous when I was learning Sky Tower Summit, and I really don't recall any of this. So I am going to take my time here so I do not get myself killed. I do remember this. Wait. Oh, okay, this floor played out differently from how it did last time. Oh god, I'm dead. Thank, thank goodness I had a seed. Okay. This is odd. So, I think... When I practiced that floor, I did something wrong in practice. P3, P3 left of that, okay. And I had to think of an alt strat for that floor. Now I didn't need it. Uh, now something weird happened here. Oh no, I was supposed to quick save on the third floor. I might die. I very well might die now. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Thank goodness I only need to start the, um... I only need to start the summit again. Yeah, when was this? When I was practicing this dungeon? I... I'm dead again. Oh, I accidentally waited in place because I expected to die from the Flygon. <laughs> when I was practicing this dungeon? I must have been holding the wrong item or something, because that floor was really different in practice. <laughs> Alright, okay, thank goodness. Dude, please, please don't- okay. <laughs> Dang, this actually could have been a decent first run, and <laughs> this, this dungeon kind of killed it. Well, what really did the job was me forgetting to quick save on the third floor. Okay. Oh shoot. Please don't kill me. Oh. That's what happened. That right there, that's the situation I was in in practice. Where, like, the clay all weren't there, but a Flygon was instead. It must have something to do with pickup. I'm really glad I'm aware that there's a zero seed strat for Rayquaza. <laughs> Although, let's be real, if this if this wasn't my first speed run, I would so have quit. <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna let that Flygon come, I'm gonna let Charmander kill it. That's what I should have done last time. It's the third floor right quick save? Correct, okay. Quick save the third floor. Would have made it through first try if I had remembered that. Alright. I think I might still sub 220? That's still not too bad, honestly, for first run. Dang, what would I have gotten if not for this series of deaths? Okay, 4F, our mesh. Oh yeah, this is an easy floor. Okay. Peak 5, left left attack twice. 
Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the slowest I've moved in the whole run, but for good reason. <laughs> Down right, go right, don't fear fuck out, okay. So it's the most clumsy Flygon ever. Alright, Frost, let's get left on the I don't remember that Aerodactyl. This might go sour. Actually, no, it was there, it was there. I was, the notes told me to frost, so it had to have been. Also, go me finishing at level 60. <laughs> Rayquaza, here we come! Okay. We made it! <laughs> it was a struggle, but we made it. Free time save next run the first year. <laughs> okay, right, down right, thrust stand. I tested this earlier, it should work. He's, he attacks Charmander and he should miss. Oh, he dragon dances, that's right. It's, it's terrifying to do dragon dances, but you're fine. I did it! The first SQ run! What is that, about 218? That's not too bad. Heck yeah, it could be better. Dang, it would have been a, that would have been excellent for a first run if I hadn't died so much. That would have been really excellent. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I didn't split. <laughs> it's all right. That, that, that fight takes almost a fixed amount of time, nonetheless. Wow. I watched Worser do this run. I was so amazed by it, and now I completed it at only a few minutes slower. I strongly believe once I actually have everything entirely memorized, I will be very significant in, in the leaderboards for this game. I am remarkably clumsy, and many failed runs will be had. <laughs> and I still need to remember how many things are executed, as I, t I was so dependent on my notes this run, I almost may as well not have practiced. <laughs> I think the only the only dungeons where I really got far without having to look at notes were Uproar Forest. Um, geez, I forgot the, um, the volcano's name. And the earlier parts of Sky Tower. But if I have all of that memorized, it should be pretty fun competing with me in this game. I will just need time. And heck. If I didn't really want to do a Super Mystery Dungeon run after this, I would do another run right now, or, oh no, I wouldn't do all icons, that'd be, that'd be insane to do. <laughs> well, let me learn any percent first. Mount Blaze, I'm assuming. No, not that, it wasn't Mount Blaze, it was, uh, it was the volcano that I was practicing last night. Um, Magma Cavern. Magma Cavern I was able to do without having to look at my notes too much. Because I just practiced it last night and just learned it. <laughs> Actually, a decent memory of Mount Blaze as well, and a decent memory of the Frosty Forest, because I did those dungeons quite a lot. There were some dungeons I certainly practiced more than others. Sub 220, yeah. <laughs> you had faith in me, like a noob, and while I didn't quite hit your estimate, I did sub 220 on my first shot. These strats are amazing. I made so many mistakes, and I was still able to sub 220.
Yeah, really, Otome, really. <laughs> Alright, so we stop time right as the screen goes completely white before the credits, correct? You'll need it again, and then you split when it fades to white. Okay. Man, it's it's been a while since I finished a new speedrun. The last time I finished a new speedrun was way back when we had a big sky race. <laughs> My first run of that was also awful. <laughs> this wasn't as awful as that, though. <laughs> that was a travesty. The only part of this run that was really, really awful... <laughs> was that one floor of Great Canyon where I literally forgot where the stairs were <laughs> and dying several times in, in Sky Summit. <laughs> the rest of the time I lost... Oh, I also lost a fair bit of time to missions. And then the rest of the time was just bad execution. Or, like, forgetting little things, having to fight extra enemies. It's astounding how much that adds up. You split at an audio cue. Yeah, that's. I'm like that for several moments in Super Mystery Dungeon as well. <laughs> Super Mystery Dungeon still stands as my favorite speedrun, but this one being a close second. For the first SNQ run by Mozzarella Cheese. For the first run, the first SNQ run that Mozzarella Cheese completed. Whew! When I was out of Reviver Seeds in the middle of the run, I was afraid I wouldn't kill the two Mac McCaver. Because of grounded. I'm really happy I finished. I just need to get more consistent now. Wow. <laughs> GG, yeah. That feels so good. Alright, I'm not done streaming. I'm gonna... S give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna switch to Super Mystery Dungeon soon. I'm just gonna have to get the NTR viewer, viewer going, which is, that thing could be a little bit finicky. I'm gonna close some of the stuff I don't need. <laughs> well, yeah, if you didn't memorize anything in your first attempt. <laughs> yeah. Plus whom, you played with different strats, and you played on a slower console. <laughs> If I had done this on, like, a DS, if, I'm assuming I would have lost at least two minutes or so. And then if I would have done this with, like, Machop Torchic... Well, I probably wouldn't even have finished, because one of the Reviver Seeds I picked up helped. And then... But assuming I would have finished, I don't know. I have no idea how much time has actually stayed by me out. Approximately two, three minutes? I don't know. Super's ick. Well, I like speedrunning it. <laughs> so we're speedrunning it after this. I will be right back. Actually, wait. Do I need to... Do I need any... Let's, let's see in-game time, and then I'll walk away for a second to switch hands. Also, I freaking love this credits music. <laughs> the skipping dialogue is unreadable. Oh. You need to play the game casually, Atome. <laughs> not a too not too bad a game. I'm sorry, it's just the first speed run we gotta focus on the gameplay, and it just so happens that Super Mystery Dungeon is the only one that let us skip text faster. <laughs> the run would be like six and a half to seven hours long if it if it didn't have that text speed. Sorry, Atome. 
I mean, hey, if you, if you want to stick around and watch that run, I can try to give a vague explanation of what's going on in the story. I freaking love that game. Though, since you said Super is it, I have a feeling you're not that interested in watching that run. <laughs> <laughs> well, no problem. I need to get better at talking about the story when I run the games anyway. If I'm ever doing one of these games for like a marathon or something, you can't be dead silent during cutscenes. Unless it's like the best cutscene ever. <laughs> You watch the speedrun and understand like 70% of the story. <laughs> and to be fair, that's probably about as much as you'll ever understand for Super Mystery Dungeon's story. That that game's something happened in the storyboard room when they were making that game. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll save. Let's see what my in-game time was, just for the heck of it. It was a 209. Okay, I now I'll be right back. <laughs> 